Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are starting the conversation today about ultimate team of the season. You might be like, Nate, this is not for another week. What are you talking about this for? Well, I'm talking about this because I think there are some cards right now on this game that if you own them in your team, you might want to start thinking about, hey, with Ultimate Tots coming and a few of these cards maybe being in the Ultimate Tots squad, do I want to take a look at maybe cashing out and selling some of those Team of the Season cards that will be re-released back into packs for Ultimate Team of the Season? So we're going to take a look through that just a little bit today. Again, I'm not trying to cause panic. I'm not trying to make you guys go out and feel like you have to sell your teams. I really feel like this is only for some of the really high tier part of the market from some of the earlier tot squads. And this is really early on preparation. We're gonna have some leaks, I'm sure, up this upcoming week that are really gonna tell us and really gonna impact the market more than what's gonna happen the next day or two. But if you wanna be really ahead of the curve, I just wanna give you some things to think about today. And we'll talk just a little bit about Ultimate Tots, which of course we will really cover extensively later on this week. Cause there's a lot of content during Ultimate Tots and it impacts the market a lot as well. I also wanna take a look at Serie A team of the season that we had released yesterday with actually a pretty crazy day. The Kessie SBC is a W. We had the first goal cutback for Serie A, which is very, very nice. And the cards and packs, I mean, they're cool. Uh, EA did do some very nice juice in these cards. I think that some of them are very expensive right now. This is actually reminding me a lot of Bundesliga team of the season in the first day that we saw in the prices with how these cards moved on the market. So it's very similar to that, uh, you know, especially with like Bellingham was super expensive, Leao was super expensive, that sort of thing. So I'm going to talk about all of that in today's video. If you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start off by talking about, again, ultimate team of the season. Now, as I mentioned, well, let's start even here. What's, let's start with this. What even is ultimate tots? A lot of you guys are unsure about what ultimate tots is, especially if this is your first year of FIFA. This is the ultimate tot squad from last year. Basically, they take a couple players from each of the top five leagues of tots they've released. They throw them into a team, put them back in packs. It's the same cards that were released earlier, and it's called ultimate team of the season. Now, the last few years they've done it, they haven't increased the squad or the number of players in packs. It's just been 15 right and it's been 15 players every single week this year right a starting 11 plus four on the bench that's how it's been every single uh league and that's how they did it last year for ultimate tots now of course there were some big names that didn't get into ultimate tots last year there's going to be some big names that won't get into ultimate tots this year and that's where the questioning begins but as you take a look at the squad Messi, ronaldo lewandowski and bappe you have de bruyne salah kane kimmich bruno fernandez then you have some lower tier cards in there that aren't as, as expensive de Vry, bamba and like Joao Cancelo, like this squad is going to be a mix of your high tier, really expensive cards, a couple middle tier ones, and then a couple low tier ones. Because even though it's ultimate team of the season, EA is not just going to go release all of the, the biggest, most expensive TOTS cards and packs because they have to release some of those lower tier cards in there for pack filler. They always do that. They're going to do it again this year as well. So is it likely that Ben Yedder and Bappe and Neymar all going to ultimate TOTS and Messi? Probably not. I would imagine that of these four, one, maybe two is going to end up getting in. Same thing with like the Premier League tot squad or, you know, even Bundesliga. Are Bellingham and um, and Kunku both going to get in? Probably not. Will Ronaldo, Mane, and Salah all get in? We, probably not, right? So that's where the questioning is right now. But here's where I'm thinking that some of you guys might want to start to sell these cards. If you take a look at some of these prices uh, and just knowing what's going to happen to these cards if they get put back into Ultimate Tots with the way pack weight is this year um, and just the way the market is this year, uh, th these cards don't hold their prices well out of packs, especially seeing that some of these cards have rebounded back up. Mane was 2.7 last week. He's now back up to almost 3 million coins. As we take a look at some of the other top tier Tots cards, Salah is 1.92. He was down in the low 1.9s. He was back up to 1.9 highs. So a lot of these cards, Ronaldo was like 4.2 mil. He's back to 4.5 at the moment right now. A lot of these cards that have been lower from earlier weeks of team of the season, even like Tots Bundesliga, Bellingham was under 2 mil, um, and Kunku's been around that 1.3 range. With the worries and with the expectation of ultimate Tots upcoming, I think this weekend would be a good time 
to sell a couple of those higher tier cards if you think they're going to get into ultimate team of the season just because once we get to like monday or to tuesday we're going to start to get leaks about what cards are in ultimate tots and let's say they put ronaldo in ultimate tots right what you're going to see is people are going to start to see the leak of that happening they're going to go out and they're going to start listing the ronaldos up and then there's going to be a lot of panic selling so it's going to be kind of reactionary market um, with the leaks upcoming in this next week. So if you want to even stay ahead of that and just know that, hey, these card prices are probably going to be dropping in the next two to three weeks, in the next week, honestly, anyway, because Ultimate Tots usually brings out some pretty good content and stuff like that. It might just be a good general time with the, the market feeling kind of slow right now anyway, and a lot of prices are up from where they were last week at the beginning of League One Tots, stuff like that. It might just be a good time in general, especially for these higher tier cards to get out on some of them. Now, you could also argue that it might be a time maybe to cash out on some of the middle tier cards. A card like Hyun Min Sun could very easily get into Ultimate Tots, and you might see a card like him drop in value and you know drop like 100 to 200 K in the next two weeks if he does get in. That's the sort of risk I guess you're trying to avoid here if you have a really high tier card uh, and you're going to sell it now. So that's kind of my thought process. If you have a lower tier card, like let's say you have Tots like Trent Alexander-Arnold or like Jota in your team, like these sorts of cards, I mean, yeah, there's an outside shot they could get in, but they're 100 K, right? 130,000 coins for this card. You know, would you save yourself 20,000 coins if you sell it and maybe he's in tots and he goes to like 80K from like 100 and 100, just over 100K to like 80,000 coins? Yeah, you might save yourself a little bit of coins, but like in that sort of sense, it's not really worth it. Where it's really worth selling, again, like I mentioned, are some of these top tier cards where, you know, maybe a guy like Neymar who didn't get into Ultimate Tots last year, but, you know, very well could get into the squad this year, still at 6 million coins, you know? 5.99 right now. This would be the type of card that if he gets leaked to be an ultimate tots, you're going to see him drop three, four, five hundred thousand coins just before uh, in the expectation of ultimate tots coming out. So that's kind of the conversation I wanted to have you with you guys today about ultimate team this season because once the cards do get released and if we take a look at a lot of these cards that were put in back in packs last year you see Messi's card went from like 2.89 mil on the friday that it was dropped and then later on in that week he's down to 2.4 teo hernandez is a, a lower tier cheaper card that was in ultimate tots last year he went from 700,000 coins on the friday of ultimate tots to the next friday being uh, 515k. So we dropped 200,000 coins in a week. Those are the kind of price drop offs. Could be even more, um, you know, exponential this year on the market as well, with how expensive still some of the TOTS cards are, in my opinion, from some of the out of packs uh, leagues that have maintained their price pretty well. So that's kind of what you're trying to avoid. If you have any of those top tier cards, selling sooner rather than later might end up helping you out on, again, those top tier echelon uh, sorts of cards and again we're going to talk a lot about ultimate team of the season as we head throughout later this week and we're going to talk about it a lot but what you really have to watch out for are the leaks and once we get the leaks we're going to start talking about how it's going to impact the market but i really wanted today just to focus on some of you guys that have the top tier cards maybe you're looking to sell some of those just to save yourself some cash in the next two weeks or so when those cards come out so that's enough talk about ultimate team of the season and kind of get our our minds ready and wrapped around that because some people are even overlooking the tots that we have right now Serie A team of the season because of this right i mean you have cards that were dropped yesterday and we'll transition to talking about today's content uh as well in, in this part of the video with Serie A tots everything um you know, Serie A Tots is not bad whatsoever. I think these cards are solid. I think EA did a really nice juice. Five-star skills on Leao. Five-star skills on Paolo Dybala is really cool. I like the five-star weak foot upgrade on, on cards like Immobile. I mean, this Tot squad is a W. I mean, it's a W, but it's just not as hyped as some of the other ones. And I think that's why you see... I mean, honestly, this team is really cheap, like we expected, except for... Those two cards, and honestly, Teo Hernandez, there's three cards right now that I think are still a bit overpriced. Dybala, Leao, and Mr. Hernandez at 1.4 million coins. The reason why Teo Hernandez is so rare is because, uh, or sorry, the reason why he's so expensive is because he's incredibly rare. I mean, this guy has like three or four pages on the market at all times at the very most 
on PlayStation, which means he's stupid rare. You had Rafael Leal and Dybala all extinct yesterday for a long period of time, and now they are back down. Again, like I said, this reminds me like so much of Bundesliga team of the season from a couple weeks ago. Remember Jude Bellingham was 3.5 mil, 4, 4 million coins in that first week, and Kunku was extinct uh, at like 1 point whatever for the longest time, went up to 1.9 mil, and then really dropped off after that. I think that's what you're going to see with these TOTS cards in Serie A TOTS. Like Rafael Liao in no way, shape, or form should be 3.7 million coins. I understand the card is good. I understand Dybala has five-star skills. He's got all the traits. He got a work rate change. He's high, low instead of medium, medium. That's awesome, right? Should he be 3 million coins? No, he shouldn't be. So I think that those these three cards, Teo Hernandez should be somewhere around a mil, honestly. A little bit under that because he's brand new and still hyped. But uh, I think that these cards are very overpriced. The rest of the team is a W. It's cheap, right? As we expected. The whole entire rest of the team, the next most expensive card is Kula Bali at 500,000 coins. He's also very, very rare. And there's just so many great usable cards in here. Berardi was extinct yesterday at like 550k for a short amount of time. That was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but this is a nice card for 200,000 coins. So I like the cards that EA dropped. They're going to probably keep getting a little bit cheaper this weekend as we roll on through the weekend as we get more of those 84 plus Serie A packs. It's going to supply them a little bit on the market. But again, I have nothing wrong with the content they dropped yesterday. The Cassie SBC is a fat dub, 250,000 coins. Uh, I think that's why Tonali is super cheap. Tonali also has a super high pack weight. Uh, I've noticed it on the market. He's got pages and pages of cards. And I wonder if a little bit of that is because of Cassie. But uh, you know, 360k for this when you see Kessie at 255. Yeah, I think Kessie's price is really, really good. He's going to be incredibly craftable this week with upgrade packs when we get those. The objective cards that we have, Lautaro is cool, uh, but I think Lautaro is an L because the upgrade for both of our objective cards, Lautaro and this Lopez, are just not good. Like this card right here is just not that great. Four star, three star, honestly, no thanks. Lautaro Martinez looks okay. Um, but just not insane, right? There's so many better cards that are in packs and uh, through SBCs as well. Like it, It's just okay. So that part was not that good. We did get the first goal cup to return though. So that's nice. A big fan of that. Uh, and I like that they're returning with that and this objective that everybody loved last week. Of course, it's under the milestones tab. At least these objectives are under the milestones tab because um, the season is going to be ending this Thursday. It's going to be over. We're going to have a new season. So that's why it's all under here. But, uh, you know, this is a W and I like that. I like the Serie A Cup. It's still a golden goal uh, game mode. So I'm a big fan of that. I think the Kessie yesterday was probably the biggest W of content. Now, also what I want to talk about, and this kind of leads me into what we're going to talk about with maybe even today's content as well, is we're getting these flash SBCs, right? They did an 82 plus rare player pack. There was a little bit of an info screen that EA put out on the game, and I couldn't find a screenshot of it. So I'm going to go back to my stream from yesterday and just show this to you guys. It's kind of hard to see because it's behind the play button. But it says, keep your eyes peeled for daily flash SBCs, puzzle SBCs, and player SBCs during the duration of the campaign. So when we were seeing this yesterday... We were starting to wonder, does this mean daily flash SBCs, daily puzzle SBCs, and daily player SBCs? Like, does the daily just mean flash SBCs, or does it mean player SBCs too? If it's daily player SBCs, that's incredible, and that means this week of content will be so much better uh, than what we maybe expected it to be, and there's a lot of potential for cards if that's the case. Now, we're going to find out really quickly if that's the case, because we're going to have more leaks if they're doing daily player SBCs. I have just a slight feeling that maybe it's just the daily flash SBCs, which is still nice. And if we're going to get flash SBCs every single day during Serie A Tots, that's kind of a W, right? And that's going to be a great, if you're still trading with like lower tier cards, if you need to make some coins this week, like those non-rares are going to be fantastic to trade with all week long because of that. Um, you know, so that's really the big question. But, you know, a daily SBC for a player would mean guys like Zlatan, guys like Ribéry, uh, or maybe even like a Chiesa that people really want to see, or El Sharawi that people really want to see a special card for inside of Serie A Tots may have a potential to get one, maybe like a Tomori or a uh, Borella card. So much potential for SBC players if they're doing daily ones. So as of right now, the only leak that we have is uh, Pellegrini, I'm pretty sure. So if we start to see more leaks posted 
um, about upcoming SBC players for Syria Tots, then that would maybe get us to think that we are going to have daily player SBCs. I, I think right now I, I'm trying not to get my hopes up too much because I really don't know if that's going to happen. But just, you know, wording in EA Sports, two things that don't really go hand in hand that well is when when they post little infor, informational things like that and the wording on them is usually pretty, I don't know how to say it, like inconsistent or I, I guess it could take, it would, it would be nice if we had some further clarification on that. So, you know, that rolls us into today on Saturday. What kind of content are we going to see today? Actually, before we get into that, let's talk about these Serie A Tots cards price-wise just for a bit, because I know you guys are like, Nate, you're down on coins a little bit. What's going on? I picked up some Kula Bali just uh, about an hour or two ago because these guys are really rare and they got low. There were some fluctuations that we traded with yesterday. Um, you know, I bought some Kula Bali's at 600, sold at 700, bought some Immobiles at like 550, sold at 630. Um, I picked up some Kula Bali's just a bit ago at 448. And these cards are rare, right? And I saw them fluctuate yesterday and I think they're going to fluctuate again today. Uh, probably you'll see your normal Saturday rise on the brand new cards that are in the new Tot Squad. Kula Bali is 489,000 coins at the moment. They got really low with the lightning rounds and some of them have started to bounce back. Teo Hernandez was actually like 1.25, I believe. And now he's like 1.4. Like I'm saying, guys, this card is incredibly rare. It's ridiculous. Uh, but he'll continue to get supplied today. And, you know, you'll see some bounce backs, but take the cash when you see him today. Um, these cards are probably all going to drop a little bit lower after the 6 p.m. content today on Saturday. That's what I would expect. Vlahovic was like 310. Now he's, okay, he's kind of still around 310, but he's a pretty rare card. And I just stuck to the really rare ones, right? I bought some Koulibaly. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of watching this Rafael Leal because even though I think he's really, really expensive, he's probably going to maintain his price in the morning um, because he's he's pretty rare. Like if you look at Leal, I think he's only got like two pages, one page, two page. Okay, he's barely got three pages on the market. And then Dybala I think had like almost four or five when I looked earlier. So he's not as rare. Uh, okay, Dybala's got three pages as well. But, you know, I, I still think that the layout and the Dybala, so many people want to try them because they were not on the market yesterday that you'll see them kind of maintain their price. Uh, but a lot of the rest of the market, like uh, we look at Nuno Menge, right? A lot of your out-of-pack Tots cards did it really, really well. I started selling some Nuno Menge in the 140 to 150 range because I was very happy with that profit there going up like 40,000 coins and, you know, after being out of packs for like a day or two. So I was very happy with this. And uh, that's why you saw me selling a few of those new Menge cards. But that's kind of what's going on with my account right now. Just trading with a few of these. We did make some good coins yesterday. Um, and you saw some Syria cards continue to fluctuate. Like if you bought uh, a Di Natale or a Cordoba, you have some Syria out of pack specials. I think you can still hold on to those for the most part. The daily player SBC thing would really rock the market in terms of Serie A players this week um, if we're actually going to get that because that would mean there'd be a lot of new players coming out on the game that would make some of the out-of-pack specials drop if that player SBC is very good. But we'll, we'll cross that um, situation if it does end up coming up if we're going to get the daily player SBC. So honestly, I think for a lot of people yesterday, the game still felt a little bit quiet and a little bit lackluster um, just because of the, the Tots cards were nice, but they weren't absolutely insane. And a lot of people open saved the packs today. yesterday. I didn't pack any blues. You see the counter at 114. No Serie A Tots blues for me. The weight doesn't seem to be super terrible. Um, and I actually don't know what lightning rounds are running right now. I did not see the pack weight on like the Serie A 84 plus double pack, but I'm assuming that it's pretty high um, since these cards dropped a lot in the past couple hours and in, in the late night. Do they have that out? 84 plus star trio, 84 plus star duo. Oh my gosh, they're running two lightning rounds right now. They're supplying these things like crazy, but these are not Serie A specific packs. So the Serie A half pack has a 9.8% chance and that's a 50K pack. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, I still think these Serie A cards are going to drop a little bit more today. It should be a pretty quiet Saturday. And as we talk about Saturday content for today, really quick to end this video off, I'm not expecting a lot, right? We are getting a brand new League of Tots in packs today with a couple cards that people will be excited to see. And it's actually kind of a crazy day because we have Serie A in packs. We have the, let me see here, Belgium Pro League in packs. And we have the Super League in packs. So we have three Leagues of Tots in packs. And then we're adding a fourth one today 
on Saturday, just for 24 hours, it's kind of this really weird clash of schedules. We're going to have four different tot squads in packs. We're going to have Liga, or sorry, Serie A, Belgian Pro League, Super League, and the rest of the world because Super League and Belgian Pro League both go out of packs tomorrow on Sunday, according to the EA calendar. So for today on Saturday, we'll have all those three plus rest of the world, which most people are very hyped for, Tavernier and Oscar. These are the confirmed stats. Tavernier looks unbelievable as a right back. Of course, English links might rise a little bit for him, so watch out for maybe some of your English links there. That's a crazy looking card. Oscar, of course, could be a really nice Brazilian cam. The rest of this team, most people probably won't have that much fun with, but there are some decent cards in here that you might want to go out and try um, depending on where you uh, watch football and what cards you like to try. This good one card, 99 pace, might be pretty good. So, you know, this there's there'll be more Tots cards in packs today, namely Tavernier and Oscar. We'll probably have another objective, I believe. The This guy will be coming as an objective today from rest of the world. Tots, Straveza, the Brazilian right mid. And, uh, I, you know, I think we might get a Pellegrini SBC today because that was the only other Serie A SBC that was, was leaked. That also could be pushed off till tomorrow. Again, one thing we do know about today is the daily flash SBCs, I guess, are still going to continue to come. So um, if you've got stuff in your club, watch out for, for that sort of stuff. Some good pack. They gave out an untradeable 50K pack. I've missed the other flash challenges so far. Uh, and this one expires in two hours. But this one's 11 rare silvers. with Okay, three golds. 80 chemistry that's not too bad but you only get an 82 plus player so we'll see if the flash challenge sbcs actually give out good stuff um but it's nice that we're going to be getting some decent content through that and hopefully that it does mean daily player sbcs right that's what i really 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 hope for that'd be awesome so i'm going to keep tabs on some of these cards in the market i think it would be fun to maybe buy one or two of them try it out um and then yeah good luck if you're playing weekend league as well i hope it's not as sweaty out there I just qualified. I need to gift a couple wins to uh, actually qualify for the... I haven't literally qualified yet, but I hit uh, the four wins. So I got to gift a couple, and then I'll be in foot champs for the weekend. And uh, yeah, it should be a pretty interesting Saturday. Um, hopefully, there are some more good SPCs dropped today. But that's going to be the video for today, lads. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.